Robert Jenrick has now admitted what we have been saying for a very long time, which is that, of course, France should be intercepting the boats and taking them back to shore. They are not. Belgium is. So why the heck are we giving France half a billion pounds not to stop the boats? Well, I mean, don't ask me. I don't know the answer to that. But as, as, as you said, we should be giving Belgium the money. France, let's give France a little bit credit, shall we? They've apparently put on a few more patrols. <laughs> They've introduced some more drones and a little bit of additional radar technology and wait for it they've introduced some beach buggies oh, that's gonna so make that's going to make difference. all the difference but the fundamental trouble i mean the decrease christine by the way as oh, a result of that is tiny it's tiny of course it is they've basically done nothing and the, but the trouble is they don't want to do anything macron has no interest whatsoever in helping us he is so furious mm. about brexit etc etc he's also fuming because you said he wants a third term he can't have a third term he's stamping his foot he's not allowed to have a third term he has Got. He's he pretty, wants to be a little dictator like Sadiq Khan. He does, and he hasn't got a majority. <laughs> if only we had a two-term limit for the London uh, Well, wouldn't <laughs> that be great? But he hasn't got a majority in, that, in the uh, National Assembly. He hasn't got it. You know, he's pretty impotent. And so he's furious with us. But, yes, we should get out of the European Court. I think... Um, the and, the, and the ECHR. Which Jenrick, by the way, in that same address, yet again, is. didn't rule out. But well, I'm I think that... Christine, of just the government not ruling it out. That's not enough. No, of course it isn't, but I think they're waiting for the Supreme Court decision, and I think the Supreme Court decision will rule that Rwanda is illegal. Then I think they yeah. just might act. But, I mean, the French are just unbelievable. All they have to do is... By, by the way, before I get on to the French, let's leave the French, never mind. Jenrick actually says that he has reduced the number of boats by 20%. They're bigger boats, mm. so it makes no difference. Yeah, and he right. seems to think <laughs> that having reduced it by twenty percent is the answer to our problems. Mm. I mean, no, it's not. They're just overloaded and bigger. I mean, Adam Brooks, the, the French uh, excuse, and let's be honest about this, it is mm. an excuse. What they say, the reason why they can't intercept the boats and turn them back around, is they say they are worried that the illegal migrants on board uh, might cause harm to themselves, might throw themselves overboard and refuse to be rescued. Why don't, why don't they rescue them? At the end of the day, our boats are effectively running a taxi service mm. Uh, mm. for illegal migrants, people that admit that they're coming here for a better life. You know, while we've got people in poverty and struggling, you know, running out of hotels to put these people, we are effectively running a taxi service for illegal migrants. Now, France, it's not just that they don't like us and, and, and they don't want to help us. They do not want tens of thousands of these people Back in tents in no, on know. their coastline they would and in their towns. The more they, that leave yeah, France, yeah, the better, the better for the French. Let's remember, we've ignored the ECHR before. Any prime minister, this is a war footing, this is a crisis, an emergency. Any PM the with, with a set of that. you know what would turn around and say, I want these migrants towed back to the French beaches. Mm. If he did Which that. Which is also possible. But if he did that. He would jump five to ten points yep. in the polling overnight no. because the anger is so yeah. strong. But this is what I struggle with, Matthew Lars. Right? I feel like Rishi Sunak has accepted defeat. Well, after 13 years of Tory failure, mm -hmm. yes, he has. There is a defeat because, you know, <laughs> 10 years ago, I made a documentary when the Tories wanted to leave the ECHR. Um, and 10 years later, it's still, as oh, you say, happened. it's still floated as a possibility. And as Adam says, frankly, it's not even about leaving the ECHR because you can ignore the decisions mm. of the core. The, the, every British government yeah. of every colour has ignored them on giving votes to prisoners. Yeah. So, it, it, and Rwanda is a smokescreen because it's only ever going to be for 500 to 1,000 people max, etc. Yeah, but it's a deterrent, et Adam. It's yeah, a deterrent. You might be but we need, a proper deal. we need a proper deal with our European way, partners. The government has denied that it's only for that small amount of people. But the, the bigger point is... We can't afford any more because we have to pay so much per person. As the planes take off, then the people smuggling gangs think, oh, goodness me, Look, we're not going to get the well, same amount of it, business. It, but I think the real to the Belgian, the Belgian's effectiveness, and, you know, Belgian is not, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a coalition government of lots of different parties. It's not like it's a particular friend uh, of Sunak and the Tories um, has made has made clear action. So if we had a proper statesman in charge who would do a proper deal with Macron and stop being laughed oh, at, Belgium. it's Little Britain. Like Keir Starr yes, and Angela absolutely. Rainer. Yes, Let, because a government that's taken seriously. Is Angela Our Rainer a statesman? Uh, uh, Angela Rayner's brilliant, um, and and is going to be a great deputy prime brilliant. minister. Brilliant. Yes, I've been. But to she's not the I've been to dinner with person. Angela with other people, and I found her actually quite pleasant and nice, and she yeah, spoke a lot of sense. But she's not I the foreign affairs spokesperson either. I do not either. want her running this country. She's a bit of colour anyway. Let, let's just remember. That's all you need. These migrants are not 
they're not poor people. They're, they're paying no. thousands to come over here. Yeah. Yes. If, I'm, if um, I'm paying thousands to come over here and I know suddenly I'm going to be towed straight back and I've wasted exactly. my money, and I'm going to think twice about doing one it. One of the key so things... we need yeah. one, these deterrents. So well, good. by definition, if they're on those boats, they are illegal migrants. This is rubbish for people to keep talking about, um, you know, refugees, etc. They wouldn't be on that boat if they were... But one of the key things... One of the key things the Belgian government is, does if, when people um, are, 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 you know, de are taking off their boats back in Belgium is it takes mobile phones and it looks at the data and it looks uh, for, 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 to trace the people smugglers. We're not doing that when people arrive here. People just keep their phones and sit in the hotels in Ipswich or Plymouth or wherever they are um, uh, just playing on their mobile phones. So the government could be tough and it doesn't want to. You know, it just talks to us. Word it doesn't deliver. That's, that's do, do you know how we could stop this? If we made all the ding the people that made the dinghies mm. put some sort of traceable chip in there or whatever so we know who's buying them, where they are, you know, we but could they're stop not re this. Sorry, they're not reusable. They're just one-use dinghies. Yeah, but they're, they're, you can't, they don't get sent back make to the manufacturers. Make the manufacturers come from. put a traceable chip in every dinghy and this could stop. Well, the manufacturers are probably well, part the of the is, scam. That, well, yeah, this is the problem now. Mm. Actually, these boats, this is how despicable the people smugglers mm. are. They are now actually specifically getting Chinese and Turkish mm. dodgy companies right. to make these massive dinghies so that they can pile more people on. Yeah. So that they can mm. make more money, and that's the problem. There's, there, there, there's so many. So remember, issues. these are gangsters as well. They are. They are. They are. They are. Crooks and criminals. Adam Brooks.